Hi, um, this video is going to show you how to sort of look through your child's NWEA report. Um, this is just a sample report that um, the test provides us, so just for a made-up student, um, not anybody real. And so I just wanted to kind of show you, this is the main area you're going to want to look at, the math and the reading. And um, this is sort of confusing because on the left side, it's going to show their achievement, and on the right side, it's going to show their growth. And although both of these are important, um, there's a couple things I want you to keep in mind when you're looking at the growth. So the achievement is going to show you their actual numbers. Okay, so at this report, you should see just two numbers. You're going to see the beginning of the year number for them and their middle of the year number. Okay, and that darkened line is where your student will fall. So you can see that it says Christopher next to that line. That's where your student's points are. Okay, that's the most important thing to look at. It'll show you the national average achievement line. But if you read this little paragraph down here, it says um, that their overall score was a 201 on a scale of 100 to 350. So that kind of gives you an idea and that they're in the 47th percentile, which means they scored better than 47% of their peers. So that child would be right there in the middle, um, right where we sort of want them, right on average. Okay. Um, so that's the most important thing to look at. Now, when you look at his growth, you can see that um, he's in the 96th percentile over here. Average is 50. Okay, so here's a couple things to think about the growth. You can see that this child grew a lot. Um, he's still only in the 50th percentile. So just because he's in the blue over here doesn't mean he's high and above grade level. That just means that um, whatever he's been doing this year has been working for him and he has been growing a lot. If your child is above 50% of their peers or around that number, then they are on track and average, even if they're lower over here. Sometimes um, the growth is concerning. Maybe your child is in the red for growth. That might just mean that, you know, they've really peaked when it comes to uh, fourth grade standards. So if they already were high in math and they just scored similarly high in math, then their growth might be low um, because they were already pretty high in math. So on this test, it's going to show that they were, um, you know, above, above grade level for grade four, but middle of the year, they're still above grade level for grade four. So they didn't necessarily have the growth, but um, their achievement score is good. Okay. So when you're looking at this, you kind of want to look at both. Now, if you're, the achievement score is low and their growth is low, um, that's something that you want to look at to be more concerned. Same thing for the reading down here. Okay. Achievement scores over here. You want to look at their achievement score. Again, this student would be sort of average 50% of their peers and more of an average growth here. Okay. Um, he grew made more progress than 65% of his peers, okay? I'm happy to talk to any of you about um, questions you have about this report. Again, this is the test that we took only a couple weeks into this semester. Um, so really looking at this, looked at your child's whole first semester from um, August until December, really, um, and what their growth was there. That's what this report is gonna tell you. Um, and so I'm happy to chat with you about solutions, um, or anything else you want to talk about with your child if you're concerned about an area, I would be happy to discuss. Okay, so please um, reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.